The control of budget Margaret Nyakango has left off the plans by the government to collect 2.9 trillion revenues in the next financial year 2024-2025, terming the projected 700 billion increment as expecting a miracle. Are we premising our projection on wrong assumptions? 2.9 trillion up from 2.2. Is this achievable? My opinion. Mm -hmm. is that it's not achievable. Good. Yes, if we achieve it, uh, I would be very happy. So it will be a miracle to achieve the figures. This statement comes just a day after President William Ruto proposed increasing the tax to GDP ratio, while the National Treasury acknowledged a significant revenue shortfall. My drive is to push Kenya. Possibly this year we will be at 16% from 14%. I want in my term, God willing, to leave it at between 20 and 22 percent. We are projecting that by end of June, we may not collect 300 billion. Nyakango has further poked holes on the budgetary allocations, pointing out the disproportionate ratio of 17 percent for development compared to over 70 percent for recurrent expenditure. This indeed is a big concern, Honorable Chair, with the estimates suggesting a ratio of 70.9 to 17.5% respectively. The control of budget has at the same time exposed a controversial move by the government to clear all the debt owed by the national carrier Kenya Airways, amounting to over 70 billion Kenya shillings. As and when they, they become okay, they should pay back that. That is when it is guaranteed. But right now, it's been taken over by the government as its own debt. On the strengthening of the shilling, she notes that it has helped reduce the national debt by 1.2 trillion Kenya shillings. Nyakang was speaking before the Debt and Privatization Committee of the National Assembly. Joel Chacha K24 TV, Nairobi.